Hi there, my name is Miranda Davidson. I am a senior here on the George Fox campus. I am originally from Pullman, Washington, um, but now I've been in, living in Newburgh for the past couple of years. So um, I'm an organizational communication major. A couple of the events I'm involved in on campus are concert choir. Um, I'm also president of the speech and debate team. And then I've been an intern in the admissions office for the past three years. So part of my job is to lead tours on campus. So um, to start behind me is the quad. So today we're just gonna be kind of taking a lap around the quad so you can get a feel for what it's like to be a student on campus. Our first stop is going to be EHS, which we call the Edward Holman Science Center. As you can see behind me, it looks like there's two buildings that are kind of squished together. So we're gonna kind of get into what that looks like on the inside of the building. So let's start by walking in and then I'll talk a little bit more about it. This is EHS, which stands for Edward Holman Science Center. As you can see, this building over here looks like we're on the outside of a building and the reason why is because we actually technically are. So this building is called Woodmar. It used to be the original building that was on campus, um, but a few years back it wasn't up to code anymore for earthquake standards and so it was going to have to be torn down sadly. But people love this building, they actually wanted to save it. It's a historical building now which is really sweet. So um, we actually built this building over here to support Woodmar. So if you see these big beams across, um, this isn't just kind of a cool architectural thing, it's actually very functional. So I always love when I walk on the outside of EHS, I can see the merging of new and old with these two buildings. Um, just to get into a little bit of our academics here at George Fox, um, something that we're really proud of are our small class sizes. So um, classes average from about 20 to 25 students and our student to faculty ratio is about 14 to 1. So that means you have a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention with your professors. Um, and the impact of that is that you actually get to know your professors on a personal level instead of there being a weird kind of hierarchical relationship where you maybe see them in class but then you don't see them um, at all otherwise. So all of our professors have office hours where you can walk in and ask um, any question that you have about literally anything. So I remember freshman year, I was really nervous but I had to go into office hours because I had a question for a professor and so I mentally prepared for it. I remember going in the office thinking I have to sound so eloquent and perfect and I sat down and I was like I asked him my question um, and then he answered it really quickly and so I was like okay I have to go and, and make sure everything looks really great or whatever and um, he kind of just leaned back in his chair and he said so where are you from? How did you end up coming to George Fox? And I was like what? Okay, so I sat back down and I um, got to have a really cool conversation with him. About an hour and a half later, we were showing each other funny YouTube videos and just having a great time. And that professor has probably been one of the most influential professors in my college career. Honestly, now when I see him in his office hours, it feels more like he's a cool uncle instead of just a professor. So that's just a little snippet of what it's like to um, be in relationship with your professors here at George Fox. One other thing I want to mention here in EHS, um, if you look over here, you can see this area with a lot of seats. Um, this is kind of just a space to study, hang out with friends during the day, but we actually have a dance in here um, at the beginning of the school year. So if you can see that balcony over there, we'll put a DJ up there, turn off all the lights, um, have a bunch of laser beams going everywhere, and we'll have an 80s dance. So everyone wears an aggressive amount of neon, and we'll just pack as many people in this tiny space as possible um, to be able to have a fun student life event. So this building is um, a place for academics, but also a place to have. Hello everybody, my name is Kokanee. I am a senior here at George Fox and I am the events intern for the admissions office. Um, I, my major is psychology with a minor in Christian ministries. Um, and I'm gonna take you guys on a little bit of a tour of our university today. Our first stop is gonna be our Bauman Auditorium. If you guys wanna follow me this way. So this is the inside of our Bauman Auditorium. Um, this auditorium serves a couple different purposes. The most common purpose would probably be our chapels. So we do have a chapel requirement here at George Fox University and the two most common ones happen in this building. Um, there's a Tuesday morning one and a Wednesday night one. And those are ran by our spiritual life. Um, our spiritual life department is exactly what it sounds like. It deals with spiritual life on campus. They do a couple things. They run these chapels. They do surf trips for us. Um, they run small 
groups. Um, they also do our serve day. So it's on um, one of the first days of the year. They shut down all of campus and all of the students go out with faculty members and they serve um, campus in different ways and they serve our community in different ways. And that's just a chance for them to give back and to start off this idea of a serve year, which we are able to give back to our community and be a servant oriented um, campus, which is what is one of our values here at George Fox. Along with that, we also have a couple um, other fun events that happen here in Bauman. One of the biggest one is our Christmas concert. Um, so a lot of students, all of the choir and orchestra will come together and put on a huge concert around Christmas time. This will have Christmas trees everywhere, poinsettias, they frost off the windows, and um, they do a beautiful concert that you're able to go see, which is awesome. And then they also do a lip sync, um, like a lip sync with Jimmy Fallon. Um, so if you picture that lobby that we just walked through, it's packed full of students right before the event. They open it when the event starts and people are running down the, the aisles, running through the stage, trying to find a seat and they get to watch their friends perform on stage. Um, this last year I was actually in the lip sync and I was able to be with 19 other seniors. We did a Dancing with the Decades event. So we were able to dance to all these different songs starting with the 70s all the way to now. Um, and my sophomore year I was actually able to plan that event, which was really fun. So there's a lot of really awesome ways for students to get involved in the events here on campus, whether they come watch them or they perform in them like that. So that's Bauman. Hey there, my name is Adam Fountain. I'm a current senior majoring in business administration with minors in economics and youth ministry. Um, born and raised Tiger to Oregon, so just up the street. If you come to campus, you're probably gonna drive through it. And uh, I'm also blessed to have grandparents here in town, so just three minutes away, it's super sweet. So George Fox in my backyard, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So this right here, this is our mama bear. Couple fun facts about it. It is life-size. Just take a second to realize you don't, don't mess with bears, guys, plain and simple. They're kind of scary and pretty big, so don't mess with that. And then um, another fun fact, it is facing to the west in the direction of our main athletic rival, Linfield, is that um, little intimidation factor. And that's also where my traitorous little sister goes, but she got a starting spot on the basketball team, so I can't complain too much. But rumor has it, there is a torn up Linfield jersey in the bear, but I can neither confirm nor deny that it's totally there. Uh, and then if you looked on the rock right here, it says Bruins stand together and together we stand tall. Is that, um, like we said earlier, we have this thing called the be known promise, which is pretty much being known personally, spiritually, and academically. And part of that process is learning to stand up and stand tall. And that is what college is, is you learn to stand up and stand tall as an adult, um, which is scary, uh, but you gotta do it. And you learn to stand up for what you believe in and stand up for the God that believes in us. And it's really been a cool way to kind of rally all across campus and alumni to see how we use, uh, use our gifts. And we had a student that had a genetically deformed wrist and the engineering department helped 3D print a wrist so he could learn to do a pull up. Just little things like that that make you just go, just wow, that's pretty sweet. And then behind the bear, that is our athletic field right there, is that we are a D3 school with 21 different sports, uh, with our most recent being swimming is that we have a newly renovated pool uh, just a block and a half away. It has a great sauna and a hot tub, definitely worth checking out. And then uh, if you look behind those goalposts down over there, that is Friends View. That is one of our seven senior centers here in town. So we absolutely love our elderly neighbors and they love us. So it's not uncommon to see them at any of our, any of our events, whether it's a theater production, choir performance, band concert, and like I said, I have grandparents here in town, so my grandma invites me all the time to go to band concerts. She's like, oh, Adam, me and my five girlfriends are going to the band concert. You wanna come? I'm like, no, my cheeks can't handle that right now. I have to study for a test, but I love you, sorry. Uh, but it's pretty cool. And then we also have intergenerational game nights. So we go over there and um, over to Friends View and hang out with them. You can play pool, you can play uh, ping pong, but don't play pinochle. They will hustle you every single time. They love their card games, so avoid that. And then, um, yeah, it's just not un not uncommon to see them on campus. Uh, we have an adopt a grandparent program, so if you wanna, uh, if you're just really missing home, they'd love to be a part of your life for four years. You can. They normally walk dogs, so you can go walk a dog with them, and it's pretty sweet. You guys have any questions? Awesome. Let's go ahead and keep going to my favorite spot on the tour. So this right here is my absolute favorite spot here on campus is that this is the Chrisman Crossing Bridge 
and they put it in about my junior year of high school. So I actually found out about it from, I had friends come here for prom pictures, which is kind of weird. Um, but I mean, when you're from Tiger, that's the cool thing to do. You just go to Newburgh, right? So I mean, that's what we did. <laughs> But here we are. Um, I really love wood and architecture and bridges. So this is this is me. I love this. I'm not saying the bridge is the reason I came to campus, but it's definitely like played a factor. And it's on the way to my grandparents. So whenever I would go see them in high school, I would definitely pop by and be like, hey, bridge still looks cool. I like it. So um, that was enough for a reason. I came here for my senior pictures, which is kind of cool. And then um, if you look down below, uh, that is our canyon and we actually have about three miles worth of trail in the canyon so every year we have a 5k run and um, rumor has it if you beat our president Robin Baker in that 5k he'll buy you a steak dinner as long as you're not a track or a cross-country athlete I haven't heard of anyone actually doing it because he runs marathons and he's like really fast but that's the word on the street so if you're a runner I dare you to beat him try it um, but it's also super cool because in the canyon we have um, a barbecue pit, we have a campfire pit, and some benches. So if you just want to take a break from, from your classes and just get a nice little nature break, uh, you're more than welcome to. Uh, hopefully it's not too muddy, um, but it's always pretty sweet. And there's always a, a time in the semester where the biology students go walk in the creek and take samples for, uh, for their class, which is pretty sweet of how we use this resource to uh, to study it and uh, further our studies and just be able to appreciate it more. So it's pretty sweet. And on a sunny day like today, uh, if you're lucky, you might see somebody hammocking in the canyon. Unfortunately, there's nobody today, but um, that's a common thing people do as well. Here we are outside of the Canyon Commons. This is our main dining hall on campus for all students who are on a normal meal plan to come and eat food. So let's go check it out. Plenty of options for eating. 
like I mentioned before, we do have buffet style eating, which means that you just swipe your card and then you come in and you can eat as much as you want for as long as you want until lunchtime is over. So. Hi there, my name is Evan Teeter. I'm a sophomore elementary education major here at Fox. Um, I'm also an RA on campus, um, and this is Hadlock Student Center. So this is our new student center. It got put in last year. Um, this was going to be brand new when I came on the campus. Um, so this is something that I was really excited to get to see uh, once I got here. Uh, it's a really exciting place. Uh, there's a lot of resources in this student center. Um, we have an indoor track. Um, which there is 10 laps in a mile, so versus a four, four lap per mile track outdoors. Um, we also have an awesome weight room inside over here, um, and there's a lot of brand new equipment. Um, it's an awesome place for students to come um, just to stay in shape um, and have fun working out. We also have uh, student government offices right over here, um, which has our student government, our student activities offices as well. Um, there's also an awesome study space in there for current students. Um, as well as a kitchen. So if you want to put some dino nuggets in the oven while you're studying, it's a pretty good deal. Um, and then over here, we also have a nice rock wall, um, which they actually change quite often. Um, so if you come to the rock wall to climb and you're kind of getting used to all the, all the different courses, they end up switching it up. So that way you're never tired of it. So it's a really cool resource to also just have fun and exercise. And so, yeah, we also have uh, intramurals that go on through Hadlock Student Center. Uh, we have like tennis, basketball, football, frisbee, soccer, badminton, pickleball, uh, just about anything you can think of. Um, and so you don't have to, you know, be an athlete from high school. Um, you can be somebody that just enjoys playing sports. We have competitive leagues and just, just for fun leagues. Um, so it's a really cool opportunity um, to be able to do that on campus. So we'll go ahead and walk downstairs to see our three full-size basketball courts as well. We also have some dance and yoga studios that we'll be able to see. So if you want to follow me this way. So here is the ground level of our rock wall as well. This is how you access it. And then to my left over here, we also have our full-size basketball courts. Um, you can also have volleyball nets set up as well as like pickleball and badminton nets. Uh, there are also some lockers here as well as upstairs in the weight room. So if you have a jacket or a backpack that you want to drop off, um, you're more than welcome to keep it in there and keep it safe. Um, so that way you don't have to carry it around while you're working out. So now I'll be able to go and see the dance and yoga studios this way. So these are our dance and yoga studios. Um, this is a place that you can go if you just want to, um, you know, do just about anything in there. Um, there are sometimes some group, fit or group fitness classes that happen in here. Um, there's like circuit training, um, some spin classes and stuff like that. Um, so this is also a really cool resource that we have here in Hadlock. Um, so this is Pennington Hall. Um, this is one of our freshman residence halls here on campus. Um, we have a few different dispersers around campus. This one is actually placed right on the main quad. Um, so it's very close to uh, the classrooms that you need to go to. Um, so you know you could wake up like five minutes before class and you probably actually make it on time. So it's a pretty good location. Um, yeah, so we have a lot of different housing options here on campus for residents. Um, we have our freshman dorms, um, which are pretty typical um, setup. There's two people per room. Um, you have a dresser, a bed, and a desk. Um, and then there are also some upperclassmen dorms as well. Um, so similar setup. They look a little bit different on the inside, but the same concept. Uh, we also have what are called the suites, which are down in the canyon. Um, so those are Carrie, Will Cuts, and Bibi. Um, so that is a little bit of a different setup. You have almost like two separate rooms. So there's two, two residents in each room. Um, and then inside there, you also have a bathroom um, that you get to share with uh, your roommates. Um, so that's another option. We also, um, as George Fox has been expanding, we've bought out houses and apartments that surround campus. So we also have houses um, and apartments that typically go to upperclassmen, like seniors and juniors that are still wanting to live on campus. Uh, yeah, and so in terms of residence life, it's a huge thing for us on campus. Um, this is where a lot of students can get connected to their friends um, and just kind of find their place here on campus. Um, so it's a super cool opportunity to, uh, you know, just kind of find yourself and uh, just create your friend group. Um, my freshman year last year, uh, it was Christmas time, and we had, uh, we all got Christmas trees in all of our dorms. Um, and we had, uh, in our area, there's another dorm, and they got the tree that we actually picked out. So we were like, okay, we need to figure out how we can get this tree back. So in the middle of the night, it was like midnight or one o'clock in the morning, we all banded together. We took our tree across the bridge, 
brought it to the Edwards lobby from Goldie and took their treat. We silly stringed them. It was the best thing. It was just so much fun. Uh, and that's, you know, somewhere where I actually met a lot of friends. Um, I actually met one of uh, the artists that's on my staff through that. Um, so it's just a really cool thing that just kind of bonded us together. Um, another cool thing about Residence Life is we have RAs on campus. Um, so those are resident assistants. So there is an RA on each floor um, of, the, of all the dorms on campus. Um, and being an RA, uh, I can tell you that we go through just so much training uh, just so we can be there for our residents um, and just you know, when parents can't be there, it's really good to know that they have somebody that's looking out for them every step of the way and um, can talk things out with them when they're having struggles um, and even celebrate with them when they're you know, going through their highs in life. Um, so we get to campus a few weeks before everybody else does and we just train, 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 and we just get, get ready for that. And so that's also a really exciting thing um, for RAs to get to know each other through that and also just prepare to serve our residents in that way. Uh, but yeah, we also have uh, different areas here on campus. So. There are like freshman areas. So those are area or dorms like grouped together um, to form an area. So there, there's Edge, which is Edwards and Goley. There's PCWB, which is Pennington, which is where we are right now. Um, and they're grouped with the suites. Um, so every once in a while we have like area competitions. Um, so at the beginning of the year, um, the three freshman areas, uh, we actually have a big game of capture the flag on the quad. Um, and it happens at night. So we have like glow sticks. We all wear dark colors. Um, and it's really cool. It's really fun. Um, you have to get the, um, get the flag, which could be anything. Um, I know that being an edge, our flag this year was a dinosaur, like, I don't know, like a little horsey kind of thing that you can ride. It was really, really cool. Uh, we ended up winning. So now we have bragging rights throughout the whole year, which is really cool. Um, and that's another thing that just bonds everybody together um, through residence life. Um, so this is our quad, which is where majority of our um, academic buildings are. So people will walk back and forth on the quad to go to their different classes. And the reason that we stop here specifically is because of our study abroad poll. Um, you can see all the different, some of the different places that students have been. Um, so we have at Fox a lot of really amazing opportunities to study abroad. Our two main options are a semester abroad, which looks like you going abroad for the entire semester to a different country. I've had friends go to Rome, I've had friends go to Spain, to Prague, to Thailand. Um, and the great thing about that is that Fox really works with you to make sure that your credits transfer over so that you stay on track to graduate on time. And you're also um, paying about the same amount as you would be if you were going here. Obviously the cost of living in different countries can be different, but for the most part tuition is the same um, and you're able to experience a different culture and um, to just have this amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. The other option is juniors abroad which is probably the most popular study abroad option we hear we have here at George Fox and that looks like a three-week trip after your junior year. Um, you sign up for that your sophomore year and the way that looks like is the way that looks is an event called Tent City. So you sign up with five friends, you get a tent number, and we put up like 75 tents on the quad. One night, you have to stay in your tent all night. There's a competition for the number one spot. Um, and then at 8 a.m. the next day, according to your tent number, you get to sign up for that trip. The semester before your trip, you take a class where you learn about the culture, the language, the food, you do presentations, and then you get to go on that trip for three weeks. So I was actually able to do that this last summer. I went to Peru for three weeks and it was absolutely a once in a lifetime trip for me. If you had told me my college experience would um, include going to the Amazon River and holding a sloth and an anaconda, um, I would have not believed you, but it was something that I would never be able to get back. We also went to Machu Picchu, we went to Cusco. Um, I got really close with a lot of friends that I'm still really close with now. Um, and you go with professors that you also get to build relationships with. So it's really an amazing opportunity um, and one of the best things I think Fox has to offer.